The following segment is sponsored by Dining Out with Comedian Joy. And welcome back to Talk of Alabama. I'm in the Mazer kitchen right now with Comedian Joy, and I have Aman and Navi here. They are from Taj, India. It's Birmingham's oldest Indian restaurant. We forgot the word delicious. Okay, we, well, we can't leave that out, right? Man. <laughs> yeah. Rewind, let's start it over. Delicious Otis Indian restaurant yes. in town, and we welcome you guys. Thank you, thank you. Okay, 1994. Yes, miss. It's when you guys first opened up the doors, yes, right? Yes, miss. 20th of July, 1994. Wow, yeah. and it's been a family business from the beginning. Yes, ma'am. My why brother opened it in nine, and since then we are running that, so. Yeah, why yes. has that been important for you to, to keep with the family tradition? Well, uh, <laughs> I don't know. We just want to carry on and, uh, you know, do, do the same thing and see because he was, at some point, he was getting kind of getting burned out. Yeah. So he wanted to do something different. Okay. So then I jumped in and I took over. Since then, we are there. My wife, Navi, is helping me with that. So, you know, we are They here. have an amazing crew there. The yeah. staff is so friendly there. Yeah. Our yes. staff is basically in the kitchen guys we have is from ages. I mean, they're oh, wow. one of the guys since 1994. And, you know, our chefs are like, 15 years, 16 years with us. So, yeah. we, you know, we have just, everybody's like a family now, so. That's amazing. Yeah. Now, for people who've never tried Indian food, I am a fan, been eating it for years. Yeah. What can they expect when they have their first Indian dish from Taj India? Well, I would say if they want to start and have never eaten Indian food, I would say the chicken tikka masala. That's what we're going to do today. Okay. And uh, I'm pretty sure like 99% guys who tried that they get hooked up to it and Do you know it. okay <laughs> so warning you're gonna love it and you're right. it forever you're right. and ever <laughs> and if you have never tried Indian food I would first thing I would recommend is come to try our lunch buffets okay that'll give you more exposure about Indian more food variety. you know more variety and okay. uh, you know I'm not saying that don't try dinner dinner is good but the okay. dinner thing is if you try one dish you just get to stick to that mm -hmm. I gotcha you may never want to go away from that you know <laughs> exactly. so but the if you want to get more exposure about Indian food, the buffet is a good way to go for it. Okay. And the good thing about the buffet that it changes, so it's not the same thing every day. I like so that. if you go in there today, you go back tomorrow, it's something different something that's on different. there. Okay, I'm coming by for lunch. Please, it's anything. done. And so it's they done. have the food as well as salads on there. So when okay. I went, I skipped the salad. I went straight for the kill because the you. food is so good. And the dish we're making today, it is incredible. Okay, right. well, let's get started. What do we need to make it? Well, we're going to go to make a chicken tikka masala. I already had done some preparation, uh, preparation there, which uh -huh. is uh, onions. Bo uh, it is cooked onions and ginger and garlic. Okay. And as I was talking to Ms. Joya, that this unique thing about this dish is some people don't like onions, ginger, and garlic. Yeah. So this can be done without it. Okay, good to know. So I we don't even have to. In there. Yeah, it is all grinded and oh, all. So, okay, yeah. gotcha. You, you don't have to have this. We can do it all with these spices without them putting that okay, in there. And it will be perfectly fine. So let's... Uh, Keep the ball rolling, and we have some onions and ginger and garlic already made here. So what will my next step will be just to add a little bit of salt uh -huh. to that. A little of the peppers, red peppers. That is, you know, they seem a little lot, but when we put the coconut milk to it, they're yeah. going to take that spice away. Okay. You're going to add a little so bit of chimney. So it's not overly spicy yeah. for some mm -hmm. people. Yeah, it, okay. is, it is a mild dish anyway. So... Uh, and the healthiest dish, the drink, uh, what makes it healthy is the white chicken meat. Okay. It's already baked in the clay oven and uh, then the coconut milk. Okay. So there is okay. no, not, it, it is very healthy and a uh, lot of people don't like the dark meat or, you know, mm -hmm. something. So that, that is a good dish for them as well. So if you're working on that summer bod, you want to get this dish. Tell me what it's called again. Chicken tikka masala. Okay, I'm going to let you say that because, <laughs> man, that's a tongue twister if you say that fast five times. Okay, and here here's a little bit of a... Uh, color it is made out of a saffron okay you can put it, that in there we have yeah. to take a quick commercial break yeah. but we're coming back to you so we're sure. going to finish all the steps to make this dish and i'm going to taste it with that big spoon right you there. do it you <laughs> do it we, we won't tell anyone all right still to come how to make your campy experience a little more luxurious stay tuned for all the details on glam